Good morning kids. This is Joydeep Rakshit, your design thinking coach. We will learn today the design thinking process. Let's get into it. So, this is the launch cycle. What is a launch cycle? As I said, design thinking is all about identifying a problem, finding a solution and then launching, coming back to the example of writing a book, writing a story. You have written a book, but you have not published the book, which you have not launched your book. That is where the launch cycle comes into the picture. It is not only about finding the problem, creating the solution, it's all about launching the solution and creation to this world. So this is all about the launch cycle which we will understand. So in the first phase of our launch cycle we will look, listen and learn the different aspects of the problem. Ask lot of questions. We need to ask lot of questions, get deeper into the problem, get deeper into the solution areas understand the process and the problem. So, we understand the process and the problem. Navigate multiple ideas. Once we understand the process and the problem, we navigate multiple ideas. Once we navigate multiple ideas, we create our prototype. We create our product prototype. May it be service, may it be product, we create our product prototype. Then we launch it, highlight and fix it. So we launch this product to few people. Take the user feedback, what they are saying. The users are people who has the same problem for whom you are creating this problem, creating this product. So go back and ask them, this is the product, can you check it? Can you give your feedback? Come back with the feedback highlight their feedback, fix those feedback issues and launch it to the audience. This is the entire cycle which we will be learning in the, through the design thinking process. So what are the steps or processes for design thinking? Step number one, empathize. Step number two, define. Step number three, ideate. Step number four, prototype. Step number five, test. Okay. So these are the steps and then there is an iteration is there which comes back to again this step. So these are the steps which we will learn through the design thinking process where we move from problem finding, solution finding and then launching that solution <coughs> for the users. <coughs> Needs finding. So before we get into the deep dive of the processes, we will find the needs. What are the needs? How do we find that? Needs finding. Transforming observations into usable data cluster and meaningful insights. It's very important. When we get lot of information during this process of problem finding and solution thinking, we get lot of information in different ways through user questionnaires, through interviews, through recorded sessions, through feedbacks different different ways we get lot of data but are all those data actionable can we take actions on those data can, how do we use that data to be more meaningful for understanding the problem or creating or finding the problem for that matter that is where needs finding come into the picture transforming observations into usable data data which you can use you have to convert that data into usable data clusters and meaningful insights. So once you have made the data usable, then you can take usable insights from that particular data. 
uncover the unmet needs of your user okay you have to uncover the unmet needs of the user where we have already seen by the process of five whys why 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 and why we keep on asking the question why we get the answer in different levels we, where we keep on peeling like an onion and we can still peel 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 and we finally uncover the unmet needs which the customers or the people who has the problem also are not aware about but we can do it through the process of unpeeling the process by five whys or other processes as well looking for patterns and relationships to uncover so we have to look for patterns and relationships to uncover so insights aspirations so we need to understand the insights from those data aspirations what does this talk about our aspiration motivation does it talk about any of our motivation challenges does it talk about certain challenges that we are facing pain points are we facing any problem what is our pain points what is the pain that we are going through and deep needs these are deep needs which we might not come out or we are might not be aware about also but these are the needs which is there with us so all those aspects through the need finding we will come to know by making them into actionable and usable data and from there we make them into insights so generally it is a problem it is seen something called as untold pain something called as untold pain now how a product transforms from untold pain to unexpected gain so we need to understand this untold pain through this process of need finding okay then we will create strategies how to transform that same user from an untold pain to an unexpected gain by our product or through our product <coughs> to find the needs observation we need to follow the process of observation what viewing your friends behavior with respect to online learning so here we are taking an example of online learning and we are just doing an observation exercise what when you might want to see how your friends react or what they do during the school hours listen attentively attentively doodle etc so see your friends behavior what they are doing when the online learning or online classes are going on when you might want to see how your friends react or what they do during the school hours listen attentively doodle etc what are the behavior what they do there are several methods how deep hanging out spend time with friends over phone and chat you can ask them by having separate calls what they do during how they feel what they feel during this are they learning effectively during these online classes or not or they are learning better than earlier where because they are getting a more concise effort from the teacher to teach them about a specific topic <coughs> walk in in the subject shoes attend a class that your friend is attending ask your friend how a particular class is going what's being taught so these are the processes or ways how to find needs you will find needs by talking to people taking their interview asking them questions as well as you can also do a survey there are a lot of processes of doing that so these are the processes where you are actually observing a particular program where we are talking about online learning so this kid can do that and maybe by learn doing this during this process he may see or she may see see that 
there is a gap where a product can fit in. You never know, you can find a product where while you are taking these observations from your friends, you can find there is a product opportunity is there which can fit in during this process and you can introduce this product. Yes, you can. So, something called as SAM framework. So, what is SAM? Social concept, action, motivation. So, you can apply the concept of SAM framework in need finding. So, let us see what is that. Who they do the action or activity with? What is their relationship, social interaction, why they behave the way they do? So, when you are trying to understand about a particular problem, you have to ask all this question. Who they do action or activity with? So, this kid is playing. Who, with whom they are playing? What are the activities that they are doing? What is the relationship, social interaction? Are they playing physically or they are trying to play virtually? What is the activity that they are doing? What is the actions? Who are they playing with? Why they behave the way they do? Some all kids behave in a different way. So, how they behave? So, this is understanding the social context to understand the needs and the findings. Action. What is the behavior? What actions or activities they are involved? And why they are involved? So, you have to study and observe the actions by using the framework of SAM, social context, action, motivation. What is their motivation? What do they think? How do they feel? What are the reasons for the actions? Behaving that way, belief, values, thinking, aspirations, emotions or feelings. So, these are the framework which you can use to understand the observation and from these observations you can understand your need finding. So, this is a framework which is used for need finding. This is applicable for any scenario. <coughs> so, over here another framework which is called as SPICE. So, what is SPICE? Social. It is also a need finding framework. What does this person need from relationship with the people around them? Okay. So, you are working on a product. So, you have to identify what is this person actually needs from this particular product. Physical. What does this person need on a functional and a practical level? So, you have to understand what does this person need on the functional and the practical level from this particular product. What is their need? What is their identity? What is their identity? What is that they are coming out of it? Communication. What they want to communicate or from whom they want to communicate? What are the information they need? So, what information does this person need? Example, non-bureaucratic languages, accesses to reliable information, responsive feedback channels for different, different products, for different, different needs. What is the communication? Emotional. What does this person need emotionally and psychologically? Sense of national pride, sense of fairness, justice, etc. What is that emotion I am getting out of this for this need finding? So, this is another tool, spice, which actually helps you in understanding and uncovering the needs of the user or the people whom we are trying to understand the problem. At the problem phase, we are doing the need finding and we are doing this frame using these frameworks. We are trying to learn and then we will put these findings into our usable data. So, the same framework if we used for writing a book. Okay? <coughs> so, how do you intend to draw inspiration from people around you, your friends, parents, relatives in order to pin down your thoughts or maybe involve them? So, if you are to write a book, what is the topic of the book? What is the outline of the book? You are writing the book as a story or you are writing a book of a say hero or you want to just write short stories or you want to write poems. 
there can be different it can be fictional it can be non fictional so what is the type of book you want to write you want to write a mystery book or you want to write a book with, uh, for your kids friends so you involve your social around you and your parents or your teachers and your relative relatives and understand those thought processes physical what are the resources or amenities you will be needing voice recognition speech to text software laptop etc so what are the physical things you need to actually write a book or to understand the need finding what are the things you require identity what will be your identity role and that of your work creation author fiction science fiction that will talk about your identity and also your the identity of the book that you want to write communication what is the information that you will be needing to write the book will it revolve around any historic timeline event languages maybe anything you want so you have to communicate how will you communicate what you will communicate and what the message your book will carry once you write your book which needs to be understood at the need finding stage emotional what is what are the emotional aspects that you are trying to portray or those that are driving you motivation joy suspense positivity happiness etc so these are the some of the emotions which you might be trying to portray while you are writing this book so kids what we have learned in this particular session is we have learned the understand how to do need finding in the design thinking process we have learned some few frameworks which are used like sam and spice which are used to understand the and observe the need finding process so that we can make actionable data which is usable and from there we can take insights thank you kids